Okay, so there is a lab, and it's written up in terms of uh, using vPython, uh, and so we want to do that in GlowScript uh, because you don't have to install anything on your computer. So this is a GlowScript. It's a little bit, there are some little bit different things, but most of it will work just as is, okay? So um, I'm going to step you through it to kind of give you a start um, so you can understand how to do things. And, and then we can have fun. So the first thing to do is go to uh, glowscript.org. I'll just write, write that in here. Uh, the address is glowscript.org. Okay, now, and you can sign in with your Google account or other accounts, you can make an account, you can save things, you can run things and everything's great. Um, it does have some browser requirements. I know it works in Chrome, I know it works in Safari. Any modern browser, it should work. Um, but okay so this is essentially Python in a browser so you don't have to install anything okay so in the lab handout it steps you through how to calculate the electric field due to a single proton and then due to a dipole so I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of work through uh, the proton part okay so the first let me just do something really simple let's just uh, declare some constants uh, this is straight from the thing this is oofpez is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught. That's what that stands for. I You could use something else, but whatever. Okay, and then we have the charge of the proton. Um, that's equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. So you see this E is 9E9 9 is 9 times 10 to the ninth. 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19. Okay, so let's just print. Let's just show you what you can do. If you type print, and in parentheses you can put whatever you want. If I print oofpez and then run it, Okay, you shift it a little bit. See, it prints it out nine right there. So that's kind of cool. Okay, not useful, but cool. Okay, so we don't want to print that. <clears throat> what I want to do is make a proton and make the, a vector arrow showing the electric field due to that proton. Okay, so let's make this. Proton equals sphere position. We're going to make the proton at the origin. And we're going to give it a radius of 1 times 10 to the negative 11th. And of course, protons are red, so we've got to give it a color red. That's it. Okay, so sphere is a built-in function in Python and GlowScript. But you have to tell it where you want that sphere. That's what this position is. And you have to say vec. Now, the handout uses has this vector written out. GlowScript, I think, likes just VEC. I think both of them work. You could write vector. 0, 0, 0, or vec, but I'm going to use vec. You have to give it a radius, and you have to give it, you don't have to give it color. Okay, let's run it. There's your proton. Now, here's the cool thing. See, it made a three-dimensional thing. You can actually right-click and rotate this around. You can zoom in and out. Okay, there's nothing to zoom in and out about now, but you could. So that's, I think, cool. Okay, now I'm going to add something in. This is something a little bit different. I'm going to add in here s equals 1 times 10 to the 10th. The, the problem is that for some reason it's a bug, and it might be fixed by the time you get this. There's a bug, and it doesn't zoom in the scene. So if you make really, really small things, like I did in, in the case of a proton, it's zoomed in. But if you add an arrow, it doesn't zoom, and I don't know why. So we're just going to make everything look bigger, and this is our... S is our look bigger factor. Okay, there I said it. Okay, so the next thing, just like in the lab, they want an observation location. OBS lock, that stands for observation location. And that's going to be equal to um, S time. They give you the value 2.1 times 10 to the negative 10th. S times, actually, you could just add it up. Actually, let me do it this way. This is better. You can mold S times vector 2.1 times 10 to the negative 10th, 2.1 times 10 to the negative 10th, 0. That's just a vector location. Now I'm going to go over here. I need to make the radius bigger too. So this is s times that. Okay. So that's my observation location. And then they say, now calculate a vector from the proton to that location. Now you could say, oh, well, it's just since the proton's at the origin, it's just the same thing as the observation location. Don't do that. That's a mistake. 
let the computer calculate things for you. So I'm going to say this is equal to the final position, which is obslock, minus the initial position, where to start from, which is the proton. Now, watch this. Proton.pos. Actually, let me go up here and print out. Print proton.pos. And you'll see what's happening. These, nothing, these won't do anything. I didn't tell it to display anything. Okay, so it, it has that. And then there it printed out the vector position of that, which is 0, 0, 0. So it did. Okay, so I don't want to do that anymore. Okay. So now I have that. The next thing it says is to make find the magnitude of that vector and call it RP mag, which you don't actually have to do, but I'm doing it the way the lab does it. Okay. And now calculate the electric field at that location and we'll call it EP. So the electric field due to a single charge is 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught times the charge, Q proton, times RP divided by RP mag to the third. Okay. This is an important statement right here. This is a vector. Everything else is a scalar. You can't divide a vector by a vector. But in, if you had 1 over r squared, then you would need to have the unit vector rp. But I, since I used rp, I'm using uh, 1 over the magnitude cubed. Okay. So that's that. <clears throat> now we could print that if we wanted to. And we could see what happens. And you'll see that awesome stuff happens. Ah! RP mag. Okay, edit program. This is good. I get an error because, you know, everyone makes mistakes. RP mag. Oh, that, I wasn't thinking. Okay, RP mag equals mag RP. Mag is a built in function in VPython that calculates the magnitude of a vector. Okay, so I printed that, and there's my electric field. Okay, I'm happy. Okay, next, I'll just leave that in there. I want to draw an arrow, an arrow from the proton to the point where I'm trying to calculate the electric field. So I can say R arrow equals arrow is an object type in VPython. I have to tell it where the arrow starts, that's the position, and it's going to start where the proton is. I need to, the axis function is x, is, I can't type and talk. This is a, the, uh, a vector representing how, what direction that arrow is pointing in. And so we want this to be rp, but I'm going to say s times rp in order to scale it up. And then we can give it a color. And we can run it. And there you go. See, actually, you can't really see the proton too well, but that's it's, it is down there. I don't know why. Let's see the radius s. Oh, here's a problem. I don't want that. I'm sorry. I don't want that. There, that's better. Okay. I, I actually multiplied by that scale thing twice. And that gives me a different value for electric field too. Okay. Okay. Now we want to... Oh, let me run that again. And you can see you can rotate this around and zoom in and out if you like. Okay. Now we want to calculate the electric field due to the, the arrow representing the electric field. The first thing I can do is this. The, the book, the printout has mag e, that's a typo. Okay, so the thing is that the, this is a distance vector, and the electric field is a electric field vector. So they, if you want to draw it, you have to kind of make it a size. So this says right here that the ratio of the position to the scale of the electric field is 10 to the negative 20th. Okay, so I'm going to have the scale factor in here. Um, so I'll call this scale factor, and I'll call it 1 times 10 to the negative 20th. So now when I make my E arrow, position, and 
it's actually I need to draw it at a different position. So I can have that S times OBS lock. Axis equals S times scale factor times EP. Color equals color dot orange. And run it. Oops, scale factor, because you can't type, dummy. Okay. Scale factor 1 equals. Gosh, that's embarrassing. Okay, there. So th there's my there's my proton, there's my position vector, and there's an electric field vector. Let's just change something really quick, really, really, really quick. What if I made it a, an electron? It won't run very well, but you can see now, now that, let me get rid of this um, R arrow. Oh, so uh, this number sign comments out the line so you don't see it. Now you see the, the direction change, electric field pointing towards that. Okay, so <clears throat> in the rest of the thing, you're going to calculate, you're going to do this, and you're going to calculate the electric field due to two charges. Okay, but hopefully that's enough to get you started. Um, that's the end.